Our sleeper train broke down in the middle of the night and you won't believe what happened next. We've had a shocker. Some people say the German sleeper train experience is better than most luxury first class airlines. The price tag for this train is enormous. Forget Etihad, Qatar and Emirates. These train cabins are the perfect temperature. The pillows are just the right level of flimsy and the relaxing hum of the railway sends you into a deep, deep sleep. Jade and I travel a lot, which means we don't always get a lot of sleep. So we were looking forward to catching up on some much needed Zeds on board our sleeper train from Berlin in Germany to Strasbourg in France. Let's just hope people weren't lying to us about German sleeper trains. Hello, we're in Berlin, but not for much longer because we're about to leave quite soon. In between the hot dog and schnitzel eating that we've done in Germany. Sausage. We've also been doing a logistics job. Jade is busy booking the trains and hotels for the next place. Is it a problemo? It's not a problemo, but it's last minute, so it's expensive. <laughs> this is the debris of Jade's breakfast, a seven day fresh croissant. The sleeper train tonight is 339 euros for both of us, which is eye-wateringly expensive. But as for now, I think we need to get to the train station. Let's go. Let's go. I love trains. Can I get up? Turtle. <laughs> As we're walking to the train station, let me tell you the reason why we're doing this. People say there's no such thing as a free lunch, but a friend of ours had a restaurant voucher that was due to expire in 24 hours. He said we could have the voucher for free if we promised to travel to the restaurant and spend all of the money. For three minutes, we did some very extensive research and we found out the restaurant in question had an exceptionally cool name and a 4.7 Google review rating. That is really high. So we decided to take the voucher and accept the challenge. And we are now in a train station en route to a free lunch at U Crocodile. Here is our train platform. 1901, going to Strasbourg. NJ, which stands for Nightjet, 40424. But it's not here yet, is it? No, it's not here. Having traveled on sleeper trains before, the novelty of eating food while zipping along the tracks never wears off. What are you most excited about this train for? The food! We especially love the idea of breakfast in bed delivered directly to your sleeper cabin. I've already had a sneak peek of the menu and I can't believe some of the things that are on this menu. So of course, we will show you that once it's served. But at this point, the train had arrived onto the platform and to be honest, it looked like it had seen better days. Whoa, that is a big step. Can't go. Okay, this is a bit weird. <laughs> Initial impressions. Before we got on the train, I was a little bit concerned because it looked like it needed a bit of a wash. It was very dusty. But now that we're on, it's definitely a bit dated. You can tell it's not brand new. Okay, this is a room tour with Ryan. We've just left Germany and we're now hurtling towards France. We're in a sleeper cabin. So there's three different types of cabins that you can be on on this train. A sleeper cabin, a couchette, and a normal seat. This sleeper cabin has a hidden secret behind these doors. You think it's a cupboard? No, it is a sink with a light, with a plug socket and with running water. There's also a loo roll in here for some reason. Hopefully that wasn't the last person that used that sink. You've got two locks on the door because you can never be too safe. There's a little peephole that you can peep out of. Temperature gauge up here, always keep it on the coldest setting. Also got a volume setting up here uh, for like the train announcements, I'm assuming. We must be able to turn that down. We also have two rogue hangers up here. More lights down here. That one doesn't work. Uh, there's also a button that says stop. Not gonna press that. These are the chairs, seen better days. They wouldn't look out of place in an Austin Powers 70s movie. We have three chairs in the room. There's only two of us. So I think you could technically sleep three in here, which would have brought the average cost per person down quite considerably to around the 100 euro mark. One thing that I would say about this train is that we're gonna be spending a long time on here, over 10 hours, which is the longest train that I've ever been on. It's very spacious, which I like but it does feel old. I think we're gonna need a good shower when we get off it. It's seen some things. 
By the time we'd settled into our extremely cozy cabin, it was around nine o'clock. And despite the musty smell and potential bed bug threat, we were well on our way to a 100% free meal at one of Strasbourg's top restaurants, Ou Crocodile. But before we reached this French oasis, we had some other food on our mind. We've got a big table in the middle here. Uh, which you will be having our dinner on because there is no dining carriage on this train, which I'm a little disappointed about actually. I was, I thought I was gonna have a five-star dining experience, but I'm not going to. For there not to be a dining car is crazy. And the guy was like, oh yeah, let me know if you want some food. Um, there's not much on, so let me know what you want and I'll see if it's available. The price tag for this train is enormous so you expect you know slightly better i think if you're on a ryanair flight it would take a fraction of the time and they would have paninis there for you do you know what i mean we're gonna order some food now so let's see what is on offer our food has arrived so you actually get served it on real plates with real knives and forks we've gone for a lentil curry and a veggie chili shall i just do the taste test why do you taste this to my food? <laughs> mm. Shall I try mine now? Mine looks nice, but it's come with this like bread. I just don't like the look of it. It's okay. Right. <laughs> Get your hands off my lentil curry. I <laughs> think you've ordered the nicer one. Hmm. It's okay. In fairness, the main purpose of food is to fill a hole. And these traditional German delights did just that. And things were looking up because the aroma of the lentil curry had almost completely blanked out the damp smell in the cabin. As we digested this 40 euro meal, our minds turned to concentrate on the thing that we were most excited about. This is exciting because yeah. we're filling out breakfast. One thing I really look forward to, and I think is so first class on sleeper trains, is you order your breakfast the, the night before the morning. So I've got to fill it out now. So what am I gonna go for? Beverages, I'm gonna go for one, cup of coffee just so you know you can only have six things six things yeah oh six components all right one cup of coffee yes food bread roll salami ham muesli uh gouda slices seven hours later oh calf liver pate all right come back to me in a minute i need to just decide Why don't you fill yours out and then we'll see if we like order the same thing okay fine yeah it's a fun game <laughs> The excitement about breakfast in bed was a little overwhelming, but it seems crazy that at this point, a decision between pate and gouda was our biggest problem. Little did we know our free lunch reservation was in jeopardy, as this train ride was about to get a whole lot worse. We're now gonna get the cabin changed from night mode to day, no, oh no, the other way around. Day mode to night mode. The bunk beds are coming out. Woo, somebody shut the blinds. It is the time of day that you've all been waiting for. The beds have been assembled and we now have to decide who gets a top bunk and who gets the bottom bunk. Initial impressions, the bottom bunk is definitely the best bunk to have because it's the most spacious. This top one is a bit thinner and you might fall out and the only thing protecting you is this net. It is such a novelty going to sleep on a train. There's just something really exciting about it. Now that the beds have been made, the room feels so much better. I'm taking the bottom bunk this evening. Jade is up top. Let's hope we get a good night's sleep. And we'll see we'll you see in, France in France in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. morning. Okay. Okay. Another train. Okay. How long will it take for you? No, now we are already in Frankfurt. The train will not go. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, this uh, locomotive Five, problem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So well, is it another well, sleeper train? Yeah, yeah. then uh, we have the and another the yeah. ETA, there's faster train, yeah. which will take you. Yeah. The same ticket. We'll, I bring the, you have the online ticket, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, we've been woken up. It's like five in the morning and we're having to get off the train. I've had about half an hour sleep. This is a shocker to be fair. They've had a shocker. We've had a shocker. <laughs> there was a knock on our door this morning at 5 a.m. telling us that there's a problem with the train and that we've got to get off it. This uh, locomotive problem. And when we looked at Google Maps, we're still in Germany. So to put this into perspective, we've been on a 10 hour train from Berlin to Frankfurt 
It shouldn't take that long. It's not even took us to another country, so. What happens next? First, let's address the elephant in the room. Our initial concerns were about breakfast in bed, and unfortunately, it was not good news. Do we have breakfast? Breakfast we don't get. We get breakfast. only in Mannheim, and we are not at Mannheim. We've got no breakfast, because they haven't got it on board. But it wasn't all bad. If you want coffee, tea, I can bring. After receiving a complimentary watered down train coffee, we were told to get on board another train that would take us to our final destination. But for some reason, the train they put us onto was actually heading to Paris. So if anyone was on that sleeper train that needed to go to Strasbourg, God help them, because they weren't getting there. By the time we'd arrived into the French capital, we had just one hour until our lunch reservation. We made it to France. Hello, want me to take your picture of what? Yeah. <laughs> we do video. Video. Hello. Hello. Hello, we made it. We made it to, we made it to France. 13 hours. <laughs> he was nice. That's made me feel better about the journey. But the problem was, Strasbourg was over two hours away. So the moral of the story, there really is no such thing as a free lunch. I'm hoping we get some sort of refund. We'll keep you posted on that.